It's been a while since we've seen some real innovation in the smartphone market, but ZTE just announced a phone that does something no other major handset on the market is doing right now. Hey YouTube, how's it going? My name's Jonathan, and in this video I'm taking a look at the ZTE Accent M, which is the very first dual screen smartphone that I've ever seen. So officially announced today, the Accent M features two 5.2 inch Full HD displays mounted on a hinge design that lets it turn from a smartphone into a small tablet of sorts, or even a laptop like format. It's not actually a foldable display, as much as I was hoping ZTE would beat Samsung to the punch, the Accent M features two conjoined but separate 5.2 inch LCD screens, and there is a slight bezel in between them. With that said though, when you actually use this phone and open it up, you're really not going to notice the bezel between the screens all that much, it's just a couple of millimeters thick, and it's not really going to detract from the experience if you are using full screen apps. Now you can use the XM a lot like a normal phone by folding it in and just using one of the two full HD screens. In this mode only one screen is active while the one on the back disappears into the black bezels and basically becomes invisible. At 12.1mm the XM is actually not that thick, especially if you consider what that thickness gives you, but from hands on time it does sound like the phone is a little bit awkward to use and very very different from any other device out there. Now multitasking is obviously a really big deal on this phone, an M button is placed in the nav bar which lets users switch between several modes, you can have just one display, a mirror which is useful for watching content in tent mode, and separate which is where the two displays are independent, and then combined which is just one large screen. The ability to use the two screens separately is really interesting, as it really lets you do some advanced multitasking. You can easily open one app in the left screen and a completely different one in the other, which can be great for productivity or for heavy content consumption. It's kind of the thing that a lot of iOS and Android makers have been playing around with, with multitasking abilities, but this is really taking that to a whole new level. Now unfortunately, the specs on the phone definitely leave a lot to be desired. Instead of this year's current Snapdragon 835, you're only getting last year's Snapdragon 821 processor, and you're getting 4 gigabytes of RAM at a time when a lot of other phones are getting at least 6 or 8. Don't get me wrong, that might still be enough for a solid user experience, but it's a shame this great design isn't supported by these best specs, especially considering the multitasking focus on this device. Now if you are interested in getting the Axe M, it will be available through AT&T in the United States, and it will be available starting in November for $24.17 per month for 30 months, which adds up to a full retail price of $725. That might be a bit of a tough sell, especially when you can get a device like the Galaxy S8 for only a little bit more each month, but you might still be interested enough to get this phone, especially considering it's a very unique design. But with that said, give me your opinions on the Axe in the comment section down below, let me know if you'd be interested in seeing more phones like this, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and with that said, I will see you next time.